Hi friends, welcome to the channel or welcome back to our channel. Today we're working on our secret beach area where we are placing Weber's house and another fun little area. So let's jump right in. Of course, I'm going to start off with a warning. There is a bunch of waterscaping in this video, but I did cut out a good bit of the footage. So I do hope that's all right. Um, I just don't want these videos to be too long for y'all. Right here, I was creating a diagonal waterway to place a diagonal bridge. And you're going to see that it took me a little bit longer than I had expected to. And also, the footage kind of looks repetitive, but I promise it's not. Every time I watch this, I'm like, that looks like the exact same thing I just did. And it kind of is, but just in a different spot. So I promise there's no repeat parts, but it kind of feels like it right here. start to notice that I am kind of sporadic in my decorating, my terraforming, and my waterscaping. I had a really good idea of what I wanted to do, but I couldn't quite put the pieces together all at once. So you're going to see me work on one area and then jump to another and then jump back to that area just to jump into a completely different one. I apologize if that bothers you. Unfortunately, it's just how my process works sometimes, and it, it actually works out. It works out pretty well. <laughs> I record these on stream and sometimes I like to change my outfit on stream or I'm just building and I go into a time that's a little bit later in the day than I would like to. 
but that is why you will notice the daylight changing or the outfits changing. I haven't decorated the secret beaches much on my previous islands so for this one I just wanted to make it really simple a sweet little space for a lazy little duck to come lay on the beach and hang out he's got a little tent where he can sleep under the stars and a little hammock where he can take his naps and I just didn't want to do too much with this area especially because the area around it is so busy there's a lot going on there's a lot of items because I like clutter, so this is my attempt at minimalism. For this little area, there's not much footage of what I did here. Honestly, I didn't do too much. I put down some wheat fields and tried to fill it in as best I could, but because there's a cliff right in front of it, you couldn't really see the decorating process the way that I would want you to on video, so I cut a lot of this out. Honestly though, it's just a small walkthrough area, so it's not like it needed a whole lot, but the clutterer in me, is clutterer even a word? I just made it a word. The clutterer in me really wanted that space to have something. So there's a little something, but not much.
starting our abandoned train station, which I am so excited about this. I've never really done a build like this before, so I was excited to try it out. Originally, I wanted to make a force perspective build here, but when I looked at it, I just did not have the space that I feel like you would need to create an actual force perspective. So I came up with this instead, but I did not put a train. I didn't use standees or anything like that. I made it more natural to the island's theme because nothing about this island says city or even a town vibe to be honest so I wanted to make sure that it was still cohesive that it still went along with the island and I think it turned out really really well.
Well friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider giving it a like, subscribing, and turning those notifications on for me so you know when the next video is posted. I am still new to video editing, but I am getting better every day and the videos are starting to come out quicker. If you're curious about any of the creator codes I used today, they are all listed down in the description. And if you want to watch Fern come to life in real time, you can check me out on Twitch. My handle is Kelly's Crossing. I stream Monday through Friday and we work on Fern quite a bit. All of my socials are also down in the description. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all the next time around. Have a great time zone. Bye.